have to be really honest with you. Your wrinkles are so bad that I think Botox would be a complete waste of time. Were your mom and dad really jowly and had double chins? The only way to fix your face is a face up. four-legged friend here, his dog, Lulu. Pretty cute dog, Drew. Yeah. Let's sit, Lulu. Well, she, I have- Lulu I, is a handful. I, Lulu's a handful, but you Lulu know what? All do dogs just, are. I may be out the audience in one second here. She, she's strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a confession. I also brought my best friend, Nala Kum. <laughs> Good girl. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on, Lou. Come on. Nala, sit. Good girl, Nala, down. Good yeah. girl, stay, okay? You're making Lulu oh. look bad. <laughs> she, she, she's older. Well, in case you all didn't notice, today is a special Ask Our Doctors Day. I'm excited because later on we're going to do a special Ask the Vet segment. Nala and Lulu are going to take part, God willing. Yeah. <laughs> Lulu has a face for radio, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ask Our Doctors today. We're answering questions you have about your own pets. Here to help us is veterinarian doctor Carolyn McRae. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Nice to be here. Thank you. So before the break, we read an email from Tony who was worried about his dog Buzz's bad breath. And that's a common problem. I know Absolutely. that, that uh, little Nala here, Nala sit. Hi, oh, baby. Good girl, stay. stay. She's got bad breath sometimes. Absolutely. What, you think As, Lulu doesn't? No, I think <laughs> most dogs do. And we as owners, yeah, every now and then we'll go by these bad breath bones, but we don't really know what to do. Yeah. So just imagine if you didn't brush your teeth for a couple of years, what it would smell like. So that's why we like to get in there and brush their teeth. Would you like me to demonstrate how to yeah, do that? Yeah, I'd love to yeah. see because I have never done it. Hi, sweetheart. I know. I love you. It's okay. Come on, baby. And then nose up. I know. It's okay. Okay. And then, oh, yeah, okay. we have some tartar there. Uh-oh. Yep. I'm a bad dad. Yep. I'm a bad dad. I'm so sorry, Nala. So we just Nala. go ahead and brush. Just super gentle. It doesn't have to be very hard. It's more the consistency than how you're doing it. And then we have a, a flavored toothpaste. And okay. so they tend to like it. So it gives a little bit better. It's okay, baby. It's okay, no baby. Fun. Did you guys want to try? I'd love to try. Alrighty, I fantastic. feel like I'm neglecting some teeth here. And it's really best. I mean, obviously, we'd okay, like baby. it done between meals and snacks. But for the most part, if you can do it just even once a week, and this it's going to double. Mouth, right? Relax. That is for the mouth. It's okay, baby. <laughs> no, no, it's not okay. pate. No, okay. Oh, this is nasty in it's here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just gentle. No, no, we're going to clean yep. your teeth. See? It's just I like can't, massaging. Just I can't you're massaging find, the I can't, gums. I can't find the teeth in all these jowls. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's good. It's have somebody it's okay, help you. Okay. Yes, I need help, huh? It's okay, babe. There we go. There they are. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the toothbrushing is clearly going to be difficult. <laughs> what are other options? So, if we can't do that, <laughs> then we have a mouthwash. Uh, and it's not She's, human, Lula it's likes animal. It. What's more of that? I, I know, it tastes good. See? <laughs> the two extremes here. No, this is for me, Lulu. We can get her over here so I can go ahead. All right, so this is mouthwash. Yeah. This is mouthwash. You can get one of these syringes from your veterinarian, or you can use a dropper, whatever you want to do. So, how do we but do that? We're just gonna go ahead and squirt on our teeth. All right. Yep, just gonna help the, you, the you tartar some, stay off. You want some mouthwash? Hi, pumpkin. You're okay. I know you don't trust me anymore with that, huh? Ooh, Hi, sweetie. Can you just hold her head? She wants the whole okay. thing. It's, it's okay. okay, baby. Hi, <laughs> right, come here. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Nala, here, baby. you're okay, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, okay. I love you. You're all right. It's okay. Oh, you're okay. See? It's okay. Just super easy. Right. Just super easy. Shh. See? See? Yeah, see, she takes that better. See, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay, baby. And that's all it takes? Just like that? Yep. I lost that battle. She's the perfect pay. Lulu's. Is it? Is it? Is it, is it okay if she swallows yeah. that? It would be best not. It's plastic. All right. Come on, Lulu. Give that back. Oh, I got it. And then uh, other things are bones and. Correct, yep. And then we have specially treated treats that leave an enzyme on the teeth. Um, okay. So that they can do that. And then these bones just help to physically remove the tartar, and it's fun. So you don't have the, the struggle part. Our next question is from an audience member, Addie, and it's about her cat, Inya. Addie? 
Enya has been urinating really frequently and in inappropriate places. And also, she's, uh, she's still kind of big, but she's not eating as much and losing some weight. So I'm, I'm really concerned. Why don't you bring Enya on up, and we'll take a look. Absolutely. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Gray. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Enya. Nice to see you. Hi, Enya. Hi, you wanna... baby. Say hi, Dr. Travis. Hi, hi Dr. Gray. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. So those are really common symptoms okay. that we can um, see. Uh, the urination can mean a lot of different things. We can have uh, thyroid problems, diabetes, but by far the most common is kidney problems. Okay. That the kidneys are just not working the way they should be. And then one of the hidden problems with that can be high blood pressure, surprisingly, just like people. Okay. And so uh, I'd like to do a blood pressure if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. I didn't know I could do that on a camera. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move up a little bit here. There we go. Oh, easy, and I know. There we go. Cold. Good job. Hi, sweetie. Good job. Thank you, Dr. Travis. Hey, baby. Yep, yeah, so it's very good. similar to human. Yeah, how does blood yeah. pressure differ in animals? It's basically the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we want it somewhere under 130 is oh. what we're going to be shooting for. Okay, look, it goes right around our little paw. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it there pumps up, just like I don't have to do it. The machine does it. Oh, gosh. And then it's stopping the blood flow and it's going to start it again to get the pressure. Oh, that's great. Um, the other question I had was about uh, food. Uh huh. Do you feed them dry and wet? Can I do the combination? You never know what's really right. Right. It really depends on what they have. Oh, um, we okay. like dry food for the teeth, like we were just talking about. Um, but wet food is also very, very helpful on the kidneys, too. So it really depends on the circumstance. Your veterinarian can give you more information about that. If it does turn out to be problems with the kidneys, there we go. There are steps that can be taken? Absolutely. The thing that we like to do is get really early intervention. So that's why I like okay. to do a yearly exam and yearly blood work because early, it's so easy. It's with food and herbal supplements to help the kidneys out. Once it's later, then we have to do a lot more. Can I just ask about the herbal supplements? What is that? Uh, it just helps draw off toxins so the kidneys don't have to do that work. Oh, okay. Yep, and it goes in the food so it's super easy. You can mix it in. So it's not even a medication you have to fuss with with a kitty. There we go. Well, how's our pressure look? 138. Perfect. That's my so girl. So that's good. <laughs> Very good. But obviously we'll need a more thorough evaluation to, blood to look here and at the kidneys and their function. Thank you yep. so much. Thank you, Eddie. Thank, Thank you, you so Inya. Much. There are a few foods out there that can be deadly to animals, Dr. McCray. I worry about these. Yes. Tell us quickly things to avoid in our pets. Yeah, let's, let's okay, go let's over go here. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this over here. So, yeah, chocolate is just bad. It's um, two reasons. It has a toxin in it that simulates caffeine, and so it can cause a high heart rate. It also has a lot of fat and can cause a really bad tummy ache. We're not quite sure about grapes and raisins, but holy cow, we're having a lot of problems with kidneys. So stay away from them. Just completely stay away, and, and even last, one. Last and then macadamia nuts surprisingly can cause paralysis. So, so no macadamia so no nuts, no chocolate, no raisins, and no, and no grapes. chocolate covered macadamia nuts, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate it. And if you'd like more information on the show, go to the website, thedoctorstv.com. Don't forget the health benefits of your pet. If you're considering getting one, I highly recommend it. Those are doctor's orders. Thanks to Nala and Lulu, our special guests. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.